solve the system of linear equations by using substitution. So the first system, we're given the following equations. We're given y equals 4x and 2x plus 6y equals 78. So our first step is to do substitution. Um, since the one equation is solved for y already, we're going to substitute 4x in for the y. So we're going to plug in 4x right for that y there in that second equation. So again, we're plugging in 4x for y into the second equation. So I'm going to write 2x plus 6 and then plug in the 4x and then equal 78. So my second step, I'm going to solve that equation now. So I'm going to solve 2x plus 6 parentheses 4x equals 78. So what I'm going to do is get rid of those parentheses. I'm going to multiply 6 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24. So I'm going to have 24x there in that middle. From here I could combine like terms. 2x plus 24x is 26x. So I'm going to bring down a 26x there. And then here I just have a single step equation. The opposite of multiplying by 26 is dividing. So I'm going to divide both sides by 26. And I get x is equal to 3. From here I need to find the other variable. I figured out what x is. I need to figure out what y is. So what I'm going to do, since I know x is 3, I'm going to plug in 3 for x. So I'm going to use y equals 4x, plug in 3. So y equals 4 times 3 and I get y equals 12. So x is 3, y is 12, state your answer. Remember when you write your answer, put the x value first, followed by the y value. So my answer would be the point 3, 12. Here's one more example of substitution. So we're going to solve the system of linear equations by using substitution. My two equations, you have y equals 3x plus 1 and 5y equals 15x plus 7. Your first step is to use substitution and notice y is solved in the top equation. You have y equals 3x plus 1, so you're going to substitute 3x plus 1 in for this y in that second equation right there. So here's our substitution step plug in 3x plus 1 for y into the second equation. So I'm going to write 5 and then right there I'm plugging in that 3x plus 1. I'm going to bring down the equals 15x plus 7. So I completed my substitution. Now we're going to solve that equation for x. So I'm going to just copy it down. If you notice we have parentheses right here so we have to do some distribution. So that just means you're going to take that 5 and multiply it by both the 3x and the 1. So 5 times 3x is 15x. 5 times 1 is 5. And then I'm just going to bring down that 15x plus 7. If you notice from here, I don't have any like terms to combine. I don't have any more parentheses, so I have to start moving things. The opposite of a 15x is a negative 15x. So I'm going to subtract 15x from both sides. 15x minus 15x is 0. Those 15x's cancel out. So I'm left with 5 on the left and 7 on the right. So if you notice, 5 is not equal to 7. That's a false equation. So since it's a false equation, we know these are going to be parallel lines. So again, it's a false equation. They're parallel lines. There's no more x's in your solving when you're solving that equation. So when you're finding the other variable, you don't need to because you have parallel lines. And you know parallel lines do not intersect each other. Therefore, the answer to the system of equations is there's no solution.